going on ladies and gentlemen we're going to do a shorty here just kind of uh, showing you how we uh, germinate our seeds uh, before we get into that action though i'd just like to show you our latest haul from the north atlantic seed company uh we got uh, skunch from dirty bird genetics these cases are really cool they send it's like a little fold out deal and then inside this little puck which is here open that up and there's a little piece of foam in there and your seeds right inside there it's pretty cool you flip out it's got a little magnet thing kind of does it sing that's pretty neat um i mean are the seeds good or is the packaging good that's the question i've never ran dirty bird but i've heard good things robin hood seeds frozen bag slurricane in-house genetics Let's see some of the freebies we got here this is from dirty bird we have dirty bird genetics unicorn whip unicorn whip is bubba whip crossed with unicorn poop so to try that one out it's pretty cool uh, what else we got here this is from in-house genetics it's platinum float which is gmo root beer can't read it x platinum is that uh i can't read it without my reading glasses unfortunately looks like a back cross gmo root beer x platinum float a couple feminized seeds that's cool and then just from the north atlantic seed company themselves they send a little card in asc freebies they attach a little bit of a foam thing here and right inside there you can't see it it's cookies and cream also feminized so we got a good number of seeds and then of course you got your swag i guess banana gang skunch Supernatural Seeds, Dirty Bird Genetics, Stickers, North Atlantic Seed Company Stickers, In-House Genetics Stickers, blah, 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 ding, dang, dong. Let's go. So what we've done here yesterday is we took three of these little cups, and on the front, we marked them SK for Skunch, SLU for Slurricane, FRB for Frozen Bag. Filled these just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Maybe an inch or inch and a half of water. We used our own water. Drop our seeds in. Set them on this tray and set it on top of our uh, on top of our grow tent with the lights off in the room so it's not getting a bunch of light for 24 hours and we just came back from work today and you go and you see your seeds and just tap on them it might take a couple times and you want to see them sink all the way to the bottom and you maybe can't see here I'm doubting you can all three of those seeds sank to the bottom of the cups boom we're good to go to the next step so let's go just fair warning i don't recommend that you leave your seeds in water especially after they have sunk but even if they haven't for longer than 24 hours it's usually plenty of time for the soil or for the seed husks to suck in a little bit of moisture and get them prepared for the next step okay next step we're gonna need is just some sandwich bags ziploc preferably we got three seeds we need three of those obviously we've got three half sections of paper towels because we don't need a bunch of paper towels and then what we're going to do is here's how i do it you don't have to do it this way i got a trick here so don't panic but i'm going to show you here what we do i'm just going to take this water and you're going to say right away like oh my god that's way too much water see how much water that is and i'm going to take my seed and i know it's tricky and i'm probably going to have to cut away until i grab it I'm gonna drop it right there, right in the middle. See? Right in the middle. And you're gonna go, hey, it's too much water! You're gonna drown your seeds! And then I'll fold it in half like this. It's right there in the middle. Then I'll fold it another in half like this. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna place this one into a plastic bag. Oh, you'll find out in a second here. Just hang on with me. On the plastic bag, you want to keep your strains separated, right? So you got to write what it is. This one is Skunch, so X S K U, right? And into that bag, that one goes. And it's right there in the corner. Right there. You folded it so that it ends up in the corner there. Open up this bag. <clears throat> like so. You have to fold it again to make it fit. Awesome, whatever, doesn't matter. Sometimes I like to blow a little air in there to puff the bag up before I seal it. Just so there's some air in there so it acts more like a greenhouse. Boom. And then 
We're just gonna take a bolt, set it. Remember our seeds right here. Seed is in the top right corner. Gently squeeze it, you can feel it. Just set it in a bowl, just like that. What that's doing is, all that extra moisture that we put in, it's gonna run down on the bottom of the bag. And the top corner is out of all that moisture. And that moisture will wick up if the towel gets too dry, and it'll keep a perfect little level of, uh, of uh, moisture in that towel. And then uh, as the root comes out of the seed, it will, gravity will make it point down. You'll open that thing up and the, the, the sprout will come off the seed and it will go down. It's pretty cool. And then of course, uh, you know, repeat times however many seeds you're growing. And remember just to label your bags and keep everything separated. And then we're just gonna put this, we'll make, take another bowl, set it on top of that or whatever, just to make it, you know, mostly dark. It doesn't have to be completely in blackness. It just needs to be pretty dark. And we'll set this, you know, on top of the fridge or uh, top of the grow tent or wherever, you know, wherever we happen to put it that's pretty warm. It doesn't have to be uh, super warm. In fact, there's a study, I can't remember what university did it. Uh, might have been Bruce, the one Bruce Bugby's with. Um, where they were sprouting seeds in various temperatures all the way from way too warm to way too cold. And the seeds that were uh, in, a, in a fridge that were around 40 degrees actually sprouted, but it took them like eight or 10 days, but it still friggin' worked. And everybody's like, oh, it's gotta be warm. It's gotta be this, it's gotta be that. Uh, yeah, it does it ideally, but it doesn't have to be. So if you're sitting at like, maybe you're, you don't have a warm place in your house if you're in Minnesota, if you have 65, 68, Cool, it's gonna work, trust me. You're not gonna hurt your seeds. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Just a quick video on how we germinate our seeds. Not saying you have to, do it this way. But this is how we do it, and it's pretty cool. So if you wanna try a little something different sometime, give her a shot. One quick side note, I just noticed that the frozen bag and the slurricane cane have already sprouted tails after only 24 hours in RO water. So if you see that, dang be careful because if you snap that little tail off or even hurt it or look at it sideways you could have a problem so be very careful i was not expecting the frozen bag and the slurry slurry cane to do that but um that's pretty cool so and once you get them all situated in your bowl or whatever you're using um you're gonna check these every 24 hours being extremely careful just to make sure to see how they're coming along and usually after you know 48 to 72 hours they got a good enough tail by a 3 8 ish or so or a little bit more is fine just put them in your soil and uh, that'll be in the next vid mm -hmm.